Oh, yeah, I like the mirror on the, on the wall and the pan there. I like the floor. I really enjoy art. I've always drawn. I always since I was little, I've always liked to draw. So I really appreciate this a lot. We as a school are so excited to see this opportunity of being made available for our students here now. In middle school, our monthly class field trip to the Lee Ward Media Center were definitely the highlight. As Chris said, I still have a, I still have every project I created, including my first project, which is a very bad flower. Eastside Prep meets all these goals. Just think of the track record. Over 95% of Eastside Prep students are first in their families to earn admission to a four-year college. And if Leroy was here today, he would love this space. Uh, he had the opportunity to actually paint with some of the Eastside students. I think that student body is now sophomores in college. But he loved the passion of the Eastside students. He loved the faculty he got to meet. He loved just your overall passion for everything, not just the arts. That's good. Let's have a countdown. Do we have a three, two, one? Three, two, one. I'm so excited to teach in the new studio. It means so much to have all the space and the light air and the kids to be able to create and feel like it's a great place to express themselves. And I'm so appreciative of everything that's been done for us. Can't wait to start teaching. I have a wonderful space within the larger community. So very much like when I was in high school, the there was something kind of magical and really important about having this space to go to where um, the, the, the rules didn't seem set in stone as to what might be interesting or successful and um, uh, they're able to come into this space and sort of be a part of a kind of collective exploration of ideas and emotions and um, uh, look at the world uh, from a different perspective and, and appreciate things that they uh, might take for granted through the kind of transformative process of art making. 